Let's take a look at what you guys think of who will win today, though. So this would be interesting. I figured it was going to be close, but definitely slightly favoring the stream, especially Mocket having a bit of a rough start this season. Yeah, I, and I would have guessed it would be a bit higher up for the stream, especially with the way the Mocket yeah. started, as you highlight, but... Yeah. We'll see. I mean, uh, the stream have also been struggling a little bit. They've had some really good matches and some not so great matches, but Mocket seemingly more so the not so great side. But they may have figured things out now. And so uh, if Consulate is a map that they are, you know, bringing some unique ideas to that uh, the stream is not prepared for, could be a good day for them. But as I said, it is a map that as a team historically goes back to being a fairly good map for them. Now, here's the thing. The stream plays this exact map um, well, last night, actually, January 15th, so that was two days ago. And they played against Team Secret, which is already a pretty tough opponent. And unfortunately for Secret, they ended up losing 2-0, close on Clubhouse, but it was a 7-3 win for Le Stream on Consulate, the exact map we're going to get into now, with five rounds on the attack, which means wow. the attacking side of Le Stream is definitely something to fear. And with the way that Mocket have been playing on their defense, this can definitely spiral out of control. But we're ready to go. We'll head into game. And we'll talk about Consulate ASAP. Yeah, we'll see. We do see uh, Mocket on that attack first, so it won't be Le Stream to attack until, you know, round uh, seven, but we'll see how the bands go first to see if there will be anything that will affect either of their strategies, potentially. Imagine the Valkyrie will get banned at some point, but we're not there just yet. Blackbeard, a pretty common ban for this map so far. Definitely one you don't want to be dealing with, although um, I, I yes, the one time it was played uh, consulate, so, you know, I'm sorry, the just the first time it was played, Blackbeard was banned. Maverick was also banned, so no surprises there in that sense. But that was the secret versus chaos match. So both of those operators, not desirable for many of these teams to be having on here. Now the defensive bands is where it gets a little more interesting potentially. And there's the echo. And I got to imagine Valkyrie, Valkyrie it's consulate. Some, you know, some teams will just take Mira off instead for, you know, whatever reason. They I would not ban Mira off this. If you play consulate, just it certainly happens, uh, especially if a team has a certain strategy you don't want to deal think with. It's worth it. Yeah. I think we agree on that, all right? Yeah, I think most it's of the good, time it's, it's generally not I would have just it. walked out if you didn't. <laughs> so I don't agree. No. Oh. <laughs> we'll see. It's taking a while. And there's the... Valkyrie. There we go. That makes the most it's sense. Almost, it's almost as if we know what we're talking about. Almost. Maybe next week. <laughs> well, tomorrow. We, no, we're We not. won't be here. Yeah, exactly. Skix and Tarot. We actually yeah. haven't seen them in like... I haven't seen them in two weeks. Nope. This is what Super Weeks do. You can't really hang out with all your friends together. No days off for good behavior. Archives tell we have us to, to have good with. behavior mm, first. That's true. There is a criteria. There you go. So archives tellers to start things off should be interesting. We'll see if that actually catches them off guard or not. Crane going to be bringing that buck. We'll see how he does on that. Uno actually going to sneak into the pulse. Ooh. I mean, if you're playing archives tellers, then pulse makes a lot of sense, right? Because you can just play them in the servers. Assuming you can survive that, there are definitely teams that will aggressively attack down there and, and see if they can kind of flush him out. If so, then it makes it a lot easier for the top people to get their attack off or even just plant down there. You can take advantage of the fact that more often than not, they're not going to have a ton of people defending that. More often, they're going to be spread out across the map. So, you know, there's a... Uh, I believe it was G2 the first time they attacked this bomb site uh, when, it was, when it was fresh. As a new bomb site. They just yeah. straight up went for a rush Very downstairs, true. slaughtered everyone planted. So it's doable. And it you know just comes down to that that rush that was re or the hatch that was reinforced for the uh, the dark hallway just getting opened right up and then dropping down. Now here's the thing: mock it in season eight, uh, and I, we can still talk about season eight in a relevant fashion, especially the second half of it, just because. Uh, the metagame is still the same with the same operators et cetera, with a few changes here and there, but they're not really enough to shift the meta so far. But the thing is, Mocket still played the second to last play day against uh, Secret on this map, and Le Stream, at least the old lineup, played against Chaos on it. And they were both very efficient at taking this site specifically and even defending it. So don't put anything uh, too far away from there them. Cryon just drops in. That was the hatch not reinforced? About. Yeah, they didn't reinforce that one. And Why? So it uh, Obviously an oversight. They had other reinforcements That's they wanted to do, and the team just getting slaughtered, plants Diffuser. already down. What? This is, is the strategy I was talking about, basically. Why do you not reinforce the hatch? Well, 
at least Ace is finding one, but now he's got an ace to live up to his name. Ace is. <laughs> oh! He's starting off good, what? though. Starting off good. Oh, man. Rips will go down, and you see KS here downed on the floor in the back. Though this is all going to be watched from, actually from, no, the Capitao is dead above, right? Looks like yeah, he's, he's down uh, above. He's getting picked up. Oh, getting picked the up in the meantime. He'll find two kills. Aces with one more. He might have just enough time for this, but he's unsure of the last position. The third meta fail might be enough to win it. And yes, the ace denied. But it still wouldn't have been enough time to take out the diffuser, even with the three speed. And there you go. Just enough time to delay it. All yeah. the corner. Gotta admit, I would have loved to see that ace oh, happen, even man. if he would have still lost the round. Oh. It's man. like the, the non impact ace. It's one of those feels bad moments. No, oh, yes. I, hey, I killed face. everybody, but oh. you know, we lose anyways. Oh, the sad okay. face. Can we go back to this? Why in tarnation was that hatch left soft? To uh, demonstrate for the audience <laughs> why you don't here's do that. How, yeah, here's how not to do this. And I imagine that wasn't necessarily their <laughs> plan. Mission successful. Their initial plan, but they saw that. Mission hatch accomplished. Was, they saw it was soft. They saw pulse was down there. And they're just like, all right, let's just do this. I'm sure that was an IGL call right there. Either way, though, Attackers great round uh, by Maka, but I mean, surprisingly, they did almost lose it after like getting the plant down in the first minute and still almost lost the round. So that is uh, definitely what happened there. Lobby still going to be a big part of it here. Just the bomb site's kind of shuffling around a little as one will still be on that middle floor, but the other one coming on up. We'll see if they can defend the top floor successfully this time as most likely the attack will have to focus on that. They cannot just rush in this time. Although I suppose if they really want to try to, they could go for a smoke plant in there, but that is that is a huge gamble. Ten seconds left before insert. The extra impact grenades here, so there's uh, you know Uno with two of them already been used, and you still left. have the uh, the lesion as well, aces. Attackers recovered the diffuser. I'm very, I'm very intrigued seeing how this team play things out, as we haven't really had enough time for the new lineup to really settle in and for us to understand how it's going to run. Like, how Uno will actually fit on the team. How will Alfama play, even though he has Pro League experience? Same for Uno. These are not just random players that got picked up. These are people that know what they're doing and crying. Oh, we'll find it. oh, Ace is too greedy. What are you doing? That's the lesion, man. Like, what? He doesn't even have an ACOG. I, but, yes. Well, that's what I mean. That's why he lost that fight. He couldn't. He couldn't peek as effectively, in the end. And then he lost now the Goomans. This is this is a really big loss early on. The stream just uh, seeming to need some time to warm up here. Yeah. I so mean, Aces seemed pretty warmed up once things got cracking last time, but Reloading. now that he's the Defender first one off the board, he's certainly not going to get an Ace clutch this round. And there goes Corey though. So the entry fragger, and this is something he's had Ash banned against him as well mm -hmm. in the past. So one would say, so far. Aces looks hot and cold. Well, in the meantime, Rise will hold on to the service stairs. There's one player above in the window holding him off. And of course, the Buck that will try to find him. But Rise might just be better in this situation. He'll fire in, he'll find one, but not the second. But at least he does so much damage to Kryon and finishes off KS. Great play here with the shield right in front. He's basically set to die in this position and provide Alfama with as much protection as possible. Now, the buck's not going to fire into the bulletproof camera because the, actually, the, like, the piece of metal that extends on the side is a bit... It's, it, the headbox is a bit bigger than what you see. So you, you really need to find a, like, closer to 70 degree angle to fire a bullet into it and destroy it. It's just some, one of those quirks in the engine. Something you gotta learn through experience more. 100%. Well, it is a 3v3, but crying... So low in health. They, they had time for a reset, but hey, looks like he's not needing it so far as he turns that now into a 3v2, but some strong operators left. Three remote gas needs. Yep. And we open picks. He sprays in. You can't find anyone with the SMG 11. That was basically just a spray. And the remote gas nade will get used. 34 seconds left on the clock. Grenade thrown in the back, but both Uno and, and Hicks will remain safe. You see where Uno is set. He's by the. Um, spiral staircase and just because there's a player on the outside here rips if you're on the defense you want to deny that diffuser plant if it does get planted you are in such a tight spot now use these last few seconds to your advantage and uno peaks 
He shoots and he scores. Veil vale is down on the floor. Rips is the man with the diffuser and is being delayed even further. Damage done to the IQ who will rush on in. One remote gas nade left and no time. No, he's going to try to plant right in front of it. Hicks will get one and no time left as Hicks will find the second. Coordination on point here for Le Stream and Hicks. Just fine. Oh man, that is that is a that is a beautiful threading of the needle, as yeah. they would say. I, I mean, I like the way he was playing. Even the, that rotation hole through that soft wall back into piano, he was definitely playing in a, a very interesting way of uh, the, having the window prepped as well. He smacked it open, rotated back, like just the way he was playing, kind of aggressive delay. You know, he wasn't actually peeking out in situations where get him killed, but he would continue to put pressure on them to not feel safe coming in. So you had the thermite kind of coming around from the other side and just good coverage. It was really kind of a pinch. I mean, more of a sort of an L flank, but it, it absolutely worked and just delayed them continuously. But now they've got to go to another bomb site, so they're going to go to Garage. And they are going to try that uh, typical mirror strat, I imagine, but might even see one on the garage door, which occasionally does happen as a thing. Attackers Never see it do a whole lot of good, but uh, something people try. Yeah, now the question, will Rise and Hicks be playing together on the top floor? This will, of course, force Mocket to try and clear the top floor, and we've seen how... Uh, Inefficient. They have been. Even if they clear it, it just takes too long yeah. to help them out in the play on the bottom floor. Uh, even if it was on the lobby. Now it's even, even more difficult, but the redeeming factor is, well, you're also bringing the bug. So, you know, standard lineup from Mocket on this. But you can basically run these operators all the time. It's just I would am not a fan of the Thermit when you're attacking... Um, Upstairs five and five seconds left on the clock. Three drones will get destroyed as uh, kind of want to keep tabs on those user. drones. We Attackers always mention the drone economy, the which means right now there's only seven drones available for market on here and they have to clear rooms on the top floor at the same time. Yeah, and of course, one of those operators is going to be invisible to drones part of the time. So it makes it even more difficult, especially if he gets to be able to shoot most of those drones and then just rotate invisibly to other drones. Can definitely be a huge problem to deal with. They're going to go for the old upside down repel attack here. Something I remember K9 doing back in year one. Even. Oh, oh, oh. Bomb site, and there we go. Nice. Two kills from the attackers as well. There is that roamer potentially of Rise down to butt. Nice trade back by Uno. The Uno Meister. Wow, they're already getting garage open though, so I suppose that was worth it. Not wasting any time here. Um, as you say, Veil opening up the side of the garage door. So. Mocket do have the advantage and with really minimal losses. Yeah, sure, you lost the Ash, but you cleared out a Jaeger, you cleared out the uh, the Vigil, the two players that were roaming around in the map, and it's going to make it technically easier for you to just walk into a site, especially not having to worry about any goo mines since you have the, the IQ, you still have the Bucks, you still have grenades, and more importantly, you have the Capitao. And that Mira window is going to be rendered useless. What is, again, the all oh, cry and see a oh, grenade onto Uno. Finishes off the bandit. And now, again, Twitch, let's have this conversation. What is the biggest weakness of a mirror window? You have two seconds to reply. Too slow. It smokes. She can't see anything through them afterwards. Yeah, and the Capitao is still alive. So that is going to be a problem as you, you hear the smokes going off there. So you see the rotation of Alphelma to try and go for a C4 throw. Oh. It succeeds. It, it hits it and fails go, going down, but look at the amount of time left here for Mocket to engage. Unfortunately, KS goes all on his own, so he's got to be careful. Alpha Ma will finish it and turns it with 2v2. X from above will find one more, and this round suddenly turns the way of the stream. They had everything in their hands, including the time, but Rips will find one. Can he clutch it? The 1v1 fight now. Alpha Ma low on health, and the Mira close up. Yes. Wise from Rips, actually, to try to find the foot of the mirror, but they know the advantage is in their hands and the diffuser, it's right in front. Now, the big question is, what would Mira do? She's gonna peek and Alpha Ma will clutch it. Le Stream went around, they had no business in taking. And that was all Mocket's fault from start to finish. And it started with the Thermite pushing in all at his own. And then what does KS do? The same mistake. You know what the definition of insanity is? Telling us what the definition of insanity is more than once? <laughs> I actually haven't said it. I've only said the sentence so far. <laughs> it's true. It's true. You didn't fit in it. So there you go. Got what is there. What is the definition of insanity? This is a hard back to Far Cry 3. It's 
doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Yeah. Well, what they're doing over and over again is playing very aggressive for early plants. And that's in itself not a terrible thing, but the thing that you are getting demonstrated to you is that means you don't have enough control to secure those plants. Yeah, you can maybe get them down sometimes in the, as in the case of that first round, but then there will often be a very heavy backlash against a good portion of your team, which then leaves you in a difficult situation to be able to cover it. There is not enough claymores in the world to be able to stop them from trying to come back for a retake on very early round plants because you haven't done a lot of droning. You don't necessarily know where everyone's coming from. But I appreciate Mocket trying because they are getting close. That wasn't the worst round for them. It was just they could not get the plant down. And as soon as they smoked the mirror window, they should have expected a yeah, rotate for the C4 for because, insertion. well, I mean, it's exactly what I said was going to happen because they, it was the obvious thing to happen. On top, they had time, a ton of it, yeah. and drones. They could have gone for one smoke just to bait things out and then drone to see what the response was and then gone for the second smoke potentially. They had time. They just got too active, too crazy. And well, that ended up costing... And not only was it... Okay, you can you can be like, okay, well, they lost the Thermite. They'll still have the advantage, etc. Well, then they just rushed in the Capital and... I don't know. Yeah, it was definitely uh, not the best play. I mean, to be fair, though, they did almost win it. It yes. got very close to hitting the mirror because they had drone coverage to ping, but yeah. Almost does not get a round on the board. Nope. Although, uh, tell that to aces. <laughs> we'll see how they're able to take this at Castle Barricade, seemingly stumping, crying. He's like, do I do I use a grenade on this? Is someone going to try and push me through this? I don't know what to, what to think of that. Yeah, that's why he has a drone uh, from the IQ to give him information on that, so... Yeah. Pretty smart there. Interesting that they were going with Archives Tellers a second time, though. Or, yeah, Archives Tellers. So, there we go. Setting up to potentially rotate multiple ways here. The Castle Barricade not really doing much to slow him down now that he has an idea that is safe outside the room. Loading new mag. So they're just going to get this top-down control. This time, a, a, a much different attack. Oh, Corey missing the shots there in the back. The Alpha Ma will drop here. The Mira. Saw the engagement, the mirror window will finally get popped, but now this is the multi level play that Mocket had to face against Team Secret. What do you do? Now you peel off and you can play for the bottom floor with holes that have been pre opened to defend A. Oh. Aces in the meantime loses half his health, but he rips away at rips, so now you can't really find that uh, pulse efficiently. and. Having a man down just means you don't have potential flank watch, Attackers which on this site is, is a thing you really have to worry about. Well, I think you can kind of guess where Pulse is going to be at, or at least someone is going to be in the archives itself down there. there. There was no drone that gave information for Chaos to not walk that way into the site. It's it's a bit of an oddity. You can tell the the, the team play here from Mocket is not really showing, and it's been... It's been their, their, the bane of their existence for a while now. Now, Rise will be given more than enough time to go up the service stairs and be ready for the Capitao and the Buck. Dispatches both of them as he rises to the occasion with Aces and Hicks to get the last two. Mock it, distraught at the setup from uh, Le Stream. And, uh, yeah, that was... <sighs> well, that is finally successful archives. Now they've defended three sites successfully. That only leaves console left for them to try and defend. Which they will go to. Yep. So they have now done the, the full tour here. I mean, of course, they could go back to lobby. They're not forced to, to go to console, but it's like, hey, It's just a well. show. Hey, like, let's, get, let's get an extra one. Let's keep it interesting. So far, it's been definitely a mixed bag for the stream, but most of the ends of the rounds are really able to scare that out. But that was a much more dominant round, I have to say. they Their defense absolutely collapsing on the attackers, once they started getting those initial kills with the smoke, pump shotgun double play. This is, this is starting to be a theme today. Is that shotgun, if you have some idea where Defender people are playing it, they're making enough noise, you come whipping around the corner. You don't have to be all that accurate because the amount of damage done, if you just point in their general direction and you're close, very devastating. And that is why it was such a big deal to give Mute the SMG 11 because you now give him the option to be able to run a shotgun as well. So you end up with potentially situations with two of those shotguns in, on, uh, on board, as well as two SMG-11s. It gets pretty brutal. Uno, though, going to be bringing 
the ACOG of the Dock this time. And Alfama bringing them the uh, Maestro. So the first, I think that's the first Maestro they're bringing. Yeah. Uh, the fact they could have been bringing it out of the rounds. I mean, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I... No, they brought them before. Was um, it on the first round? First round. Yeah, that was the thing. I was like, I don't remember most people in the first round, because they all died rather quickly. And then he got shut down by the Buck, actually, yeah. even though the Buck was low on health. Anyways. Uno will... Please don't. What are you playing too many too many ranked games? Well, last time it was aces that made the peak, so they're just taking turns. Yeah, the, the two big fraggers on the squad, at least, you know, technically, because right now it's uh, Rise and Hex that are in control. Well, this definitely used to be the spawn peak heaven map. Just to ask, ask a, a former member of this team, going far back to six cluster. Oh man, don't mind. We're gonna see him at six invitation. I don't know what to feel about that. Oh, the Capitao narrowly escaping the fire of Rise. By the way, Scott Benjamin, we missed you. Soon TM. So, Salty Academy. Rise going to look on down as more flashbangs are being thrown in the face of the Jaeger here. And in catch, yeah, he still has one ADS, so he's playing the juggle. And that, oh, too no! Late, too late. You're setting it down still as the grenade's oh. already in the air. But nice trade back from Aces. Make that two. And that's the only hard breach when you're attacking on this site. And your only hard breach is already a Thermite, which is super ineffective. Uno with one more, just playing inside the console chamber. Corey shot down. KS and Rips still alive. But there's Aces playing on Legion, which means Goo Mines is just something you have to worry about. It's just going to really slow you down. And look at that Diffuser. It's like you're gifting it to the stream. You can have it. We don't even need it. We're not planning on using it. No, we're just going to try and kill you all. At this point, it is it is the, the strategy. I like the long angle he's able to kind of work, but unfortunately no one's giving him anything and all the other walls being reinforced means he's just going to have to take his loss and, and move on. I mean, at this point, you need to get up yellow stairs. You need yellow stairs control or you cannot get that diffuser back. And it's, it's not an, an easy access point there. They could even have to use a smoke to get it. Or maybe, here's a crazy thought, just go meeting and don't bring a Thermite. Yeah. I know, it's like, well, maybe we're going to attack into them when they're downstairs in Garage, but do you really want to face a smoke on Yellow Stairs? How many times have we seen it? I know, and it generally works. We'll, we'll see what happens here. There's still one gas canister, 35 seconds on the clock. KS is going to try to smoke out his opponents. His damage done by the teammate, and that's two easy kills for Hicks. We'll see it once. Well, we've said it once, twice, three times, four times. Like infinitatus times. As uh, yeah, that just don't do this. We're just seeing so often the smoke getting like two at a time. Just from we the saw four at a time today. <laughs> just it's hungry good, uh, with the pl what I want to. How how about we have like the play of the night? You know, yeah. I know they have like the top five plays of this pro league week, right? X, mm -hmm. Y, and Z. I don't know if we're still doing that for for super beer, um, but. Yeah, that hungry 4K on tower was right up there. Yeah. Well, there's still plenty of time to top it. As this is, uh, I mean, it's the last match of the day, but still would take three more rounds before the stream could claim victory. Yeah, at least this is the last round of this half, round number six. Attackers Remind you of the changes because I know, you know, each time there's people that are newly coming in, and you know that sometimes you're not 100% sure of some of the changes. Well, we used to have a five round half where each team plays on a specific side and then switches around at the half point. Now it's six and you still need seven rounds in total on the board to get the victory, which means those two rounds have made it so you don't really have to deal with as many ties as we had in season eight, which was a bit too many. Yeah, it's definitely been a lot better, but uh, G2 disagrees. Yeah. I mean, lot time as well. We had like two ties in one play. Yeah. We had one tie. As well. We've had like five ties so far. Actually, uh, according to uh, to my calculations, uh, this, sh this should be a tie as well because we had NA with two ties. We had Latin with two ties. So EU needs to either get a second tie today or tomorrow. It's just this is the rule. It's the rule now. But Bono uh, trying to make sure that... Uh, uh, hard Breacher denied. That's your only one. Oh, man. This changes everything. Now mock it are forced to come in. You might as well just leave the, the camera right there at this point. <laughs> yeah, because it's all going to happen here. Like, yeah, this is, a, this is a tough spot to be. And I, I doubt they're going to necessarily overpeak this, but if they just even take pot shots at the diffuser, 
Like, that is enough to kill them down. However, they are able to recover it. Corey taking advantage of his three speed nature to snatch that right back up. But that is definitely time burned. Pressure. He's going to have a hard time pushing this. They pretty much have to push either from yellow stairs, very dangerous, or push from the backside of cafeteria. Also dangerous, but doable to an extent. Or preferably both would be the only way to really guarantee that you have some sort of chance here. It looks like they're going to open the hatch at least to be able to come from the backside of cafeteria. Two drones down here first, but there is someone playing in archives who's about to get caught. Hicks is spotted, but Rips decides, you know what, I don't even oh. want crying on the team anymore, <gasps> and then swiftly dies himself. So, Mocket, really back. sick of playing attack, making sure it's a much shorter round. Thank you for that. Well, they'll at least find one and actually put Aces pretty low on health here on the Jaeger. Corey and KS trying to play as best as they can, but this is very much an uphill battle. They'll check the archives downstairs with the servers, and Rise will play the FO12. We've seen that before, and you know, Aces still has literally the best play with the FO-12. But it'll be Hicks dispatched in this fight, so no more goo mines. <laughs> Except for that one. <laughs> right as you say it. Well, where's the FO-12? You can still see the Ella right above here. So Just Rise ready can, to pounce. He can dive in whenever he pleases. And Chaos, nope. the instant he drops into it, fires in. And there you go. That's one kill for... Shots still in the FO12. The RG15 will come out, but Corey will fall back for just a second. He's the last man alive in a 1v3. C4, one available here for Alpha Ma. And this team will have to <laughs> just Alpha sit back and relax. You see the mirror on the side, peeks it very quickly. And even using the shotgun, Alpha Ma will secure the sixth round, well, the fifth round of the board, or round number six here for the stream. One more. So far, the only attack they've been able to win was that rush onto the archives at the very beginning. And even then, that was actually close to being lost. Yeah, that was almost an, an ace comeback. Yeah. And, and it was all because they had to reinforce that hatch in Visa. Yep. So it's their fault. Yeah. We'll see how they do on defense, though. Mocket, though, probably a little bit demoralized by how things have gone so far. Need, that, need to kind of reset themselves mentally. And go, it's fine, we're on defense now. Defense is a good side to be on in most maps. We can make this happen. It's worked out for the stream. We can do it too. But the stream says, guess what? I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to pretend I'm bringing Devil Heart Breachers, I guess, but switch off and bring a little sneak attack, but still bring in the Thatcher just in case it's Garage. So Defense they will be prepared for that, but it will not be Garage. Still going to get some potential use out of that because you can use it to help clear the ADSs. Corey taking some... Huge initial damage along with Veil. Oh, if they were no. uh, if they weren't tilted already after What are you the team doing? Kill, now the team damage this is What are you doing? Falling apart in front of our very eyes. What are you doing? Just This is such an old strategy too. The the castle, that door, and then open the hole next to it. It's funny. The, the one that's reinforced right there also used to get uh, occasionally open. Oh like that. Man, this is just And this is the problem. Mock it. Knowing KS personally, it's very easy to tilt. Mr. Kleiner. So mission accomplished, as they said earlier in the round. Yeah, and as they, as our fellow Germans would say, das gefällt mir nicht, which is I don't like this. Exactly what Mr. KS would be saying hey, in this situation. Plus side, they brought a doc. So <laughs> that's you know, exactly why they brought the doc. All's well that ends well. I guess Vale's still a little bit worse for wear, but not too bad. Seeming like Alfelm is having some trouble with the uh, vault he's trying to accomplish. And Asus says, "I'll show you how to do it. Just, just follow me." Nicely done. That is that umbrella trying to do some work as well that they added a little while ago in the uh, console revamp that added that fourth bomb site. Mm -hmm. Attackers have so they're going to stack up at these yellow stairs. Attackers Not always a great danger. idea, but we'll see how they are able to approach this. But this is where Thatcher could be. Ooh, well, I was going to say it'd be useful. Attackers. Phone call coming out to try and do things, but they can try and take out some of the ADSs with Thatcher's EMPs. Attackers have recovered their diffuser. So far, just crying, watching here. We saw the amount of work that a shotgun can do in this position, but Mocket opt away from both a mute and a smoke. Both pretty high metagame players. Now, the problem with barricading uh, this site here is that, well, they can just come in and plant without really needing to worry about you, right? So now, with any utility set uh, from Blue's team, they can allow Uno to just rush up the stairs and win the fight. But he's just going to fall back and clear things out. KS will find the kill on Hicks. Corey will spray in, and Uno will go down. 
Oh Still one on the side as Alpha Ma will find one. The Buck trying to fire in with the skeleton key, and that was the wrong one. Attack Chief, the bomb kill for Corey. Even with the initial damage, it seems like, yeah, bringing the duck, pretty sound idea. Well, hopefully he's still got at least one stim pistol left to bring him back up, but I'm guessing maybe doesn't. There was a significant amount of damage done at the very beginning. Unfortunately, that damage, uh, some of that was onto the castle who got healed up and unfortunately is now dead, so a little bit of a spent investment, but the nice series of plays, especially by Corey with the two kills. It's really going to set this back. They don't have a lot here, but they don't have a smoke or anything to necessarily directly deny this, Oof. but Rips has got a gun with uh, Ace's face on it. <laughs> it's like a lasagna on top, Ooh, and Corey again. It's going to get eliminated. Now, uh, I actually have statistics for this. Ooh. For once. Raw numbers. Raw numbers. Well, we'll see how these are going to be interpreted. As you mentioned, or I mentioned, or anybody, really someone mentioned, the fact that there's been a lot of ties, right? in season eight. Now, I have the numbers for the amount of ties that have happened in every single region. So, Korea has had the lowest amount of ties in season eight with only one. That's an APAC, of course. Japan had six. Southeast Asia has had eight. And Australia and New Zealand has had nine. So that's APAC. APAC in total has had 18, 24 ties in total. That's and all of, course, of APAC in four subregions. That was for last season though, right? Yes, yeah, season eight. Yeah. Because they started their play days like today was play day number two. However, on Latin America, it was 12, Attack NA had 13, and, and EU, unsurprisingly, had 15 ties in total. Which is NA 13, that's one, almost one per play day. Yeah, the whole and EU had 15. Yeah, so so far we're off to a better start. Yeah, so, you know, 24 in total for APAC. You put in the extra 25 from NA and LATAM. I'm doing math on stream. 49, you put an extra one that's 50, and 64, to 64 ties in total. Those were the ties that we had in Season 8. So far in Season 9, we might be looking at a second yeah, one here for to you today. That'll just add to the, uh, the total. Well, it definitely depends on whether or not Mocket can play as much defense successfully as uh, we saw from the stream. Who seemed a little bit better on top of things. I mean, though, Mocket, despite the rough start last round, still managed to come back. Maybe that will help them kind of reset their mentality. Like, see, we can even shoot each other at the beginning of the round. Well, I think it was an impact nade, but... And, and it was. still win the round. So... Was well, still not not the worst start. Well, that was due to Corey's great 3K and Uno early kill. Ace has followed up. That's on the Corey. They're gonna Here's go for the rush. rush. That's it. KS will get one, but Uno swiftly dispatching him on the entry. Rips from the side. Uno with yet another on a veil and all up to rips. As he fires in and Uno again with another one. My God, Alexi, what are you doing to mock it? That was a much more aggressive rush even than we saw from mock it on Garage. That was. That was brutal. I almost, I almost couldn't watch that. I started feeling a little squeamish. It was just a slaughter. I did see you closed your eyes. I, I couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> that was no, but that was that was a very swift attack. That was a lot of that was on Uno, just coming in with that ash rush, just slaughtering them. They're gonna try garage again for what could be their last round. Can't imagine it's gonna be the same rush attack coming out from the stream. But hey, you never know. They could even do the same thing, but from the backside, and it still wouldn't be as expected. Now they keep going the sixth pick from the Habana over to the Dokubi. Will Hicks do that again? And continue, you know, he's locking it in. So he's just faking it out so they don't know when it's real. In this case, they are gonna have double hard breaches now, so that will help in case Alfama gets downed early. Will be big, Defenders a big help arena. In case, uh, and also in case this does, that doesn't happen to be the bomb site. They could have extra. But they also have the Thatcher, so they could open this up pretty swiftly. It also helps that Mocket are not bringing anything to deny the garage from being opened instantly. So, two hard breachers, a Thatcher, and no bandit or mute. Yeah. The irony. It's it's like the streamer like overcompensating for opening the garage at this point. But we'll see how those operators end up playing regardless. They could definitely do some other work. They could also be used to help, for example, clear that mirror window that's on the uh, bathroom right there. Open that up. Provide some more angles, make it very difficult to fight that. So definitely some utility usage that could be coming out there. There's also going to be the maestro that should be Attackers helpful if any kind of smoke Attackers plant rush out attempt comes out to be able to spot at least that attempt. But it looks like they're not going to go for a rush this time as Uno no. is going upstairs. Just go upstairs. You know how you have all the utility possible. 
try to deal with that pulse early on. Looks like he's just waiting for his teammates to drone him. Mm -hmm. Possibly. Oh. No, he's just gonna walk in. Better than him having the drone for himself, which is uh, player right next to him. And maybe maybe talk you should have drone yours. Yeah, so. maybe maybe have a talk with Hicks. Oh, now Hicks comes in. Hey, oh, I see you now. Too little, too late. There's a guy in. The <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's one of those That's moments. So many times. Okay. Yeah. Well, that is the entry fragger down, who was a big player last round. So this round should go a bit slower, and possibly more so in the favor of Mocket, who didn't take any damage in that process. But Hicks is going to take two, do a bit of damage, but still suffer the same fate as Uno. Rise going for take three, manages to finally down someone from the other side. But this is still going a bit more the way of Mocket, as they have only lost one player. Finally. And there's about one and a half lost from the stream. No docks this time, right? Nope. Specialists can't have it on the... You kind of can with Finca in a way, which I think is, you know, kind of the idea the behind it, but... Corey cleaning up some more here. This is looking like a uh, mock it on the comeback a little bit. Last round, maybe a bit more of a fluke. It, it definitely does have to do with the timing. I wouldn't really call it a fluke, but still, like, the, the ability to drone up your opponents and just being able to rush them. Um, yeah. I like that both teams are trying it. So we have yeah. different demonstrations, but we don't really see too many rushes. The rips will go in. Good use of pulse. Yeah. All on rise here. Should be able to spot him. No, he's just focused so much on the top floor, but that'll give things away for rise as the camera will relay information for the four remaining Maka players. The Bucks on his own. He's just gonna well do his best on locker hallway. 55 seconds to do it, but uh, I'm thinking the Buck stops here. Tiny bit of damage. Rise is just somehow still alive in the back. Look at the Maestro. Veil just looking down, and Rise will go down. Wonderfully done by Mocket. That basically just don't even do anything special. They just. It's, actually, it's a bit of a wonder. This team droned everything. They saw that they had every advantage to just go in through the garage door and then didn't. I mean, that's the oddity is like they were. I mean, they absolutely could have at least started opening things up, but as they started throwing bodies at the top floor, you saw three people go up there, and two of them die, and the other one, the third one, at half health after that. Just, again, that it was that droning. Absolutely the fault of that droning. Just not prepared for that attack. But now that it is the top floor, the droning is going to have to be even better for that top floor, since that's where you need to get into an attack. But this is match point here. Mock it sitting Attackers very much on the edge of potential defeat. Men on the edge. It's a great song. I have so many song references. You're just the discography. I, you know, back... This is the thing that a lot of people that are still in school or university right now will understand. You can literally just know every single word and lyric to every single you know, song out there, but you can never sit down and learn like the three sentences you need for your exam the next day. Well, that's just because you're filling your, your mental hard drive with the wrong things. Yes. You need to sing the sentences, obviously. Actually, Come on. Actually, yes, that is a very good I technique. Know, I'm, I'm sounding sarcastic, but not meaning sarcasm. Uh, it's, it's like a legitimate strategy. So there you go, M's of the AGL. Speaking of legitimate strategy, they're using the same castle strap from last time. So it did work. To be fair, they did manage to win that round. Hmm. Well, now we'll see how things change or do not. The more things change, the more they say it's the same, right? Yeah. Is that what they say? Well, you know what the definition of insanity is. <laughs> well, <Attackers> trying <laughs> down early. Uno yet again just adding more kills on the board. Not sure how many kills he's at right now. I don't know if we can. Yeah, there you go. He's at 10. Yeah. That's good. Doing some work. That's, that's the Uno that you want to see. That's definitely not the one that was present on play day one, but definitely showed up for the second one. The 7-1 victory over Penta Sports. This team looked to put an extra three rounds on the board with one more round, and of course taking down the Jaeger early on definitely is what they would uh, that they were really looking for. And you see the mirror the, the back here, KS, trying to play around the mirror window and the bathroom to take down Rise, but he'll be forced back for just a bit. No, he's just going to stick the same spot. So he's expecting the Buck to get aggressive. The flash in, and Rise is going to cook that grenade to bounce into the back. It is going to land. Rips is ready in the back to fire. 
Only a tiny bit of damage done to KS here, so. This is again looking like this attack could be stopped. Oh! C4, nice! <laughs> oh! That was beautiful. You look at it in the, in the sky and you're like, mm. yikes, I'm dead. It's over. Now can they find it there? <laughs> Uno clicks the head of Rips and rips it to shred. No damage done to the Ash, who's carrying the Diffuser still so far. Very good from this team to keep equalizing the numbers. But now, oh, I don't, I'm not sure if they should have taken that down, actually. I think they wanted to be able to pressure people out of there from the angles. So it was a case of like, yeah, they could use it to cover their plant, but they also have the smoke of the cap down from that. So it's just like, we want that angle open so we can smoke it and then be able to fight it later as needed. But Ace is, uh, unfortunately, no time for the reset now. Doesn't need it, I guess. Corey got taken down. It's 44 seconds, so possibility, but not at this point. Aces will continue to drone in as he is low on health. It might just allow Uno to come on in. Uno sprays into the body of the buck, his fallen comrade. Is KS still alive? They both dive right on in, and it's all for KS. He's going to try to find them. They're both on the floor scurrying away as KS will land two extra kills and fail. Get the last one. Mock it. They might be down, but they're not out just yet. Devin. So far, Garage being the only site they've lost. Now that they've won Garage and Console, though, do they go Lobby or do they go Archives Tellers and try and do what the stream did? Probably not, but I'm, uh, you know, I'm curious. Very likely to see Lobby. Yep, there it is for the next in rotation. Now, of course, if they fail to defend it, that's it's over for them. If they succeed, then they are one round away from a tie and can go back to Garage, which, again, is the one bomb site that they have lost previously. So mm, that puts things definitely in perspective, I imagine, for Mocket. But we might see a similar frustration to what we, I think, seemed to see last matchup from Penta. Where uh, where they they just kind of get stalled out at six. You know they yeah. they, they sit on that match point, defenders and then the, the defenders can play against that attackers. frustration. And we're seeing this a lot. A lot of defense round wins, putting things close to match point. They win an attack round or so, get on that six, and it's just they they can't close it out because attack requires a different level of coordination, a different kind of coordination than the defense does. And you just you can't take that time to kind of relax. Like you can on defense to an extent. On defense, you can kind of take a breath. Mm -hmm. You know, once you've got your setup done, of course, you got to kind of be, you know, vigilant during that. But after that, you can kind of relax for a second, especially if you're a site player, do some camera rotation, things like that. That will help kind of calm you down to an extent. Whereas the attackers got to be on, on, on. I mean, the moment they get a uh, breath is after they set their drones in position during the prep phase. And then after that, it's kind of down to the IGL, start making some calls in terms of this is how we're going to push. This is where some people are. Potentially, if they see anything. Depends on how much they're willing to put the drones in, but it looks like an admin attack from Uno here. Oh, it makes so much more sense. Bring the Habana for it. You don't really have to deal with Mock it in the yellow stairs. And honestly, I I really wish that the yellow stairs push, especially when you're facing against, you know, C4 operators, etc. Oh, so die close, off. Rise. Are you going to try it again? Or? No. no. Gave up. You put on a little show for us. Try it. This time he didn't run into someone standing, sitting in the break room. That was good. Yeah, it's it's all about those small wins. You saw you saw that weird moment of hesitation where he kind of looked at it. Yeah. Like ah, oh, he's traumatized now. And of course, the defense is downstairs, but the operators are set on the top floor here for the defense of Mocket. So, what are you gonna do? You to clear the top floor. What are you gonna do when they come for you? The it's bad boys of this team. What are they gonna do? They're gonna take down the castle barricade. These castle walls. Yeah, they're definitely liking Castle on uh, Mocket here, even if it's not uh, the site they're defending. It's, they're definitely putting up a heavy defensive projector, which is, of course, what you should be doing. And the Habana obviously really good for opening up these angles, but there goes Vale, and the projector starts to fall, potentially. Oh, no. It's th Stop doing that, Mira Window. Mocket did it before when they played against the Oh, KS, he'll find one. But Uno's already been able to take down Corey to stop putting the Mira Window in that way. You did it before. Why you did it again? Why? It makes absolutely no sense to put it in that way. Well, unfortunately, they can't win for you to have the interview to tell them. Unfortunate. Well, Ace is going to make it a bit closer here. KS, the last man alive. I hope he regrets the Mira Window. <laughs> Well, he's going to be the one to try and make up for it, so... He is now going to regret it. Like, he can't play in the back. Yeah. 
Well, he's going to try for at least one here in just a second. And he has actually evacuated. Attackers are They're just going to plant an A. Yeah, he's going to go to open up the floor. And like, it's nice that he had another hole to work with, but uh, those metal bars are going to be essentially his jail cell. Yeah, Alphama just quickly dispatching KS. And Lustrim will take yet another victory and put it on the board. That's the second one for them in this season, which means, um, well, they're able to get three points in total. They lost their first game to N7-2 on border. Well, so far they're doing better than G2. That's actually very true. I can't wait to see the standings at the end. And there you go, uno. Uno, due, tre, cuatro. There you go. Aces as well. So we, we talked about before, like, those are the two fraggers that yep. came on the team. They're expected to frag. And guess what? Double digits for both of them today. And guess what? They won. And guess yes. what? Guess what? Well, it means that this team have finally understood that, hey, maybe we should actually be supporting the